Hi, welcome to Make Something with me, Dave Picciuto, and today we're gonna take the sprayer and turn it into a dish soap dispenser. Check it. A while back, I replaced the faucet on the sink and it has one of these guys on there, so this is no longer needed. We're going to take this out and we're going to get a little squirter dealy doodad and we're going to mount it in there. Then we're gonna have a tube run to the bottom with a big endless container of dish soap. So, let's head to the store and go get some supplies. Bed, bath, and beyond. I got the main item for the pump. I'm gonna take this guy right here. And then we're gonna to go to Home Depot and get a tube. So let's go do that next. Here it is. That's what we need right here. All right, so we have this guy from Bed Bath & Beyond. We're gonna take that out, and that little tube right there is going to be replaced with that little tube, which fits in there. The brush metal matches, which is cool. So what I, I don't want it way down here, so I want it to stick up about right here. And so I'm just going to turn, oh, what is that, three inches, Eric? Yes, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Uh, so we're going to insert a piece of wood in there. So let's head down into the shop and turn this on the lathe. Right there. Three inches exactly. I have this leftover piece of coconut palm. We're going to cut this up and then spin it on the lathe. Ow! I need to create a little. What? I need to create a little. What? I need to create a little uh, thing to for the thing to go into. What? We need to drill a little hole to allow this thing to. You know what I'm saying? We're just using some normal CA glue. And then we're gonna apply it to a paper towel. Like this. Same way you do a pen. That super glue will give it a nice super waterproof coat. I don't want to ruin my finish, so I got this little guy in there and this little guy. Technical terms, just look up little guy on Amazon. This is the worst chuck ever made. Is that on camera? Mm -hmm. Cause it should be. Whew. Drilling into that end grain is some tough stuff. So there's a little threaded insert on there, I'm trying to figure out a way to attach it to that. Uh, I think I'm gonna just take a little chisel or some sandpaper, knock off the edge, just kind of give it a little chamfer, and then five minute epoxy it right in there. This coconut palm is not easy to work with. I wish somebody would have told you on Twitter. <laughs> oh wait. It's basically sand. It's not even a tree, it's grass. You're working with sand and grass. Unsubscribe. You don't even know what you're talking about. That part is true. I have been a Dollar Shave Club member for three years, so I was pretty excited when they reached out. One of the great things about this is you don't have to go to the store. It's shipped right to your mailbox. Every month you get new blades. Why would you want to go to the store? It's 2017. Stay in your home, people. It's dangerous outside. Eric, why would you go to the store? I don't know. Yeah. 
see Eric doesn't want to go to the store. He, Eric doesn't even want to come here. I don't shave my face, I shave my head. Sometimes I don't feel like shaving my head and I don't use all the blades. I can pause the order for a month or if I shave my head more often, I can add things to my order with ease. This is an amazing quality for the price. In your first month's box, you'll get a nice weighty handle. Feels good in the hands. You get four cartridges and you get Dr. Carver's Easy Shave Butter. There are no hidden fees, no commitments. You can cancel at any time. For a limited time, new members get their first month of the Executive Razor with a tube of Dr. Carver's Shave Butter for only five bucks with free shipping. After that, your razors are just a few bucks a month. Check out the link in the description box down below. I'd like to thank Dollar Shave Club for supporting me and my videos. Without them, videos like this would not be possible. Let's get back to the project. Just removing some of the threads here. What is this? Original Gorilla Glue bonds everything. I'm gonna use some CA glue to kind of clamp it into place, if that makes sense. There we go. Let that dry for a minute or two and go install this mother uh, let it dry for a minute or two and go install it. I'd like to thank this week's top patrons, and that's Jonathan J. Katz Moses, George Ann Reeve, Carl Brink, Glenn Rossiter, Adam Beckwith, Bill Deal, Megan Payne, Brian McKnight, Chad Forrester, and Timothy Allen. Over on Patreon, we give away things that I make and some tools that I have laying around. So visit patreon.com slash Pachuto. Now let's get back to this project and get this thing installed. We're gonna just pull this out of here. That wasn't doing anything. And we can feed this tube down in there. If you were going to do this correctly, you would use some silicon, silicone, silicon, silicone. You would use some goopy stuff in here to seal that because you don't want water in there. I've already been to Home Depot once today. I ain't doing it again, so we'll fix that later. Now, we gotta run, run a tube into this guy. All right. So let's seal that off. Let's stick this underneath the sink down here. Ah! About right there. You even knife, bro? All right, so we can then stick this guy in here. It doesn't go, Eric. I, I knew the wooden, I knew the hole wouldn't be big enough. Oh, oh yeah, we got it. We got it, we're gonna feed it right down to the bottom. We'll shove that all the way in the back. How many pumps do you think it's gonna take? Six. No, it's gonna take 20. 26. 26. Oh, 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 yeah, that's awesome. Woo. <laughs> there it is. I still need to add some silicone, silicon, silicone, silicon, some yes. goopy stuff in there to seal it because I don't want water getting in there and dripping down and doing the thing. So works great though. I keep wasting it because it's so cool. I have a website at makesomething.tv. Over there we have books for sale. I have a cutting board book on making these cutting boards. They are signed copies. I also have a book on making bandsaw boxes and I have t-shirts and sweatshirts and stickers and plans and templates. So visit makesomething.tv to check all that stuff out. All right, folks, that is it. Please hit that subscribe button if you're new here. You might also want to hit that notification bell so you get notified when new videos come up. I'm out of here. Eric, we done? Um, I'm gonna hang out. Okay. Eric's gonna hang out. I'm out of here. You guys can talk to Eric. As always, be safe, have fun, stay passionate, and make, make something. something.